Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster, and this tutorial is on locked versus unlocked tracks in Avid Media Composer. This is kind of a uh, companion tutorial with uh, the next lesson in my Mastering Avid Media Composer just keyboard shortcut series. Um, that video will be lesson four. Four, and that's on the editing shortcuts. So, but I, I think it's really important to cover this topic first uh, before taking that lesson. Um, so, if you're gonna watch this video, I highly recommend highly recommend watching that lesson. Also, the two kind of go hand in hand. All right, so we're in MIDI Composer, and uh, we're gonna be talking about locked versus unlocked tracks. And this is different from, um, let's say, locked or unlocked tracks in Adobe. In Adobe, when you lock a track, um, it basically like uh, disables you from being able to do anything to it. That's not what we're talking about here. Uh, what we're talking about is basically keeping your tracks locked together, like syncing their time codes together. Um, and you can tell in your timeline, um, there's this uh, box here, and when it's uh, when it's highlighted and has this little like black diamond thing in it, um, that means it's locked. And uh, if it's unlocked, there will be no diamond and it won't be highlighted at all. So when you are locked together, um, that's, hold on, rewind one second. Uh, I edit almost exclusively with locked tracks. Um, by default, uh, the tracks are unlocked. I highly, highly, highly recommend locking your tracks and uh, this video is explaining why you do that. Um, to quickly lock all your tracks, go ahead and click this guy next to the time code. Um, that's going to lock all of them or it's going to unlock all of them. So if you click it, it locks all your tracks. I'm going to unlock this one. I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, and here in our timeline, I just have a clip uh, with two audio tracks and a music track underneath. Doesn't really matter what this stuff is. This is just for an example. And uh, in my source monitor, I have a clip. Uh, let's see, it's about two seconds and 28 frames. Um, and what I want to do is if I paste the clip in, I'm going V1 to V1, and I use the splice in effect. And when I do that, it shoves everything over on all of the tracks. Let me undo that, show you that one more time. Hit uh, splice in, that's also the V key, which I'm gonna be talking about in the next video. Hit that, and again, everything moves over together because they're all locked together. Um, this track up here did not move, um, and that's because it's unlocked. So if I was to go in the middle of this clip here, or middle of all of these clips, and hit the V key, it's going to shove everything over. Undo that, and let's unlock all of our tracks, and let's try that again. And now when I hit the V key, only track V1 shoves stuff over because only track V1 was selected. If I had a V1 and A1 selected and hit the V key, those are gonna move over. Undo that, and one more time to compare it, lock the tracks and hit the V key. And remember, now everything moves over together when the tracks are locked. Um, I work this way because it's really easy to knock yourself out of sync. Um, let's say we're here um, and V1's unlocked uh, and let's paste it in. Uh, you can knock yourself out of sync really easily with unlocked tracks and you can see that uh, when I did that, um, this clip here that used to be matched up with the, these two audio tracks here, it's now out of sync by 88 frames, uh, 2 seconds and 28 frames, that clip that I put in there. Let's undo that, and the same thing uh, works when you do extraction. So I made it in and out point, and I'm going to extract, click that, and uh, when that squishes together, since V1 was unlocked, it knocked this out of sync. Let's undo that, and lock V1 again, so it's all locked together, everything. And now when I extract, which is also the X key, again, that's in the next lesson, uh, hit the X key, and now everything on all the tracks get squished together. And again, if I had V1 and A1 selected, uh, and they were both, and everything was unlocked this time, uh, and I hit extract, only V1 and A1 are going to collapse together. So um, I keep this uh, track V6 up here, this uh, this unlocked. Um, that's basically a, a just a time code uh, effect that I threw on there, and then I expand it out so I can have a, a longer timeline just visually. That's how I like to work, uh, just because if I didn't have that, 
uh, MIDI Composer would end on the last frame of video or audio, whatever the last clip is. So that's here. Uh, and then you don't really have any more timeline. I don't really like looking at the timeline like that. So that's why I keep that track there, kind of a, a little hack that I do or, or trick. Um, use it if you like, uh, I recommend doing that. Um, so I would say the only other time uh, I would work with tracks unlocked uh, would be like uh, if I have a music track and I'm just laying in shots over top, um, I can unlock those two tracks. Uh, so here's this, this music um, that I threw in there and uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, select V1. And now if I uh, uh, paste in or you know splice in, use the V key or this uh, yellow guy here uh, and do that, um, you can see everything moved over except for tracks uh, A3 and A4, which was our audio. And then we can do that, you know, for all the clips that we throw in there. And our music track will stay the same. If it was locked and I was hitting the V key or the splice in uh, key, it's going to break up my music track. And I might not necessarily want that if it's, you know, like a three minute song and I'm trying to keep it all together. Um, or you could just paste the song in again uh, when you're done. Um, so. That's it for this lesson on locked versus unlocked tracks in Avid Media Composer. This is a really confusing topic, I understand, um, but I think it's really important to know and it goes a long way to you know fully understanding what you're doing in Media Composer and just the whole patching tracks and sliding and you know moving things over and having the tracks locked together. Um, it's super valuable for you to understand. So if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, hit me up in the comments or find me on Twitter at edit video faster or shoot me an email josh at editvideofaster.com um, and please make sure to subscribe to this channel because uh, i come out with a new video just about every single week uh, maybe i'll be doing more videos more frequently soon so please subscribe to this channel and make sure to check out the mastering avid media composers keyboard shortcut series man that's a mouthful i should probably should have thought about that before you know writing that all out uh when i started Anyway, uh, so lesson four should be out soon, probably next week, um, if you're you know watching this in real time, uh, and that goes into the keyboard shortcuts um, for editing itself, the splice in, the uh, extract, the lift keys. You know, we go into all that and a couple cool uh, shortcuts or hacks uh, also with those. So please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and give it a share uh, to another editor who could find this useful. I would really appreciate that. Uh, until next time, uh, I will see you. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And now I'm just rambling. All right, cut myself off. See you next time.